Good morning, everyone. Climate change. Why people may be sceptical. Climate change is a slow-moving threat. Humans are wired to respond to immediate personal threats. We have not evolved to deal with a slow-moving threat like climate change. We respond to four key triggers you may easily remember with the acronym PAIN. P. Personal. A. Abrupt. I. Immoral. N. Now. Personal. We respond to threats from other people. Climate change doesn't have a face. There is no one to blame. Abrupt. We are sensitive to abrupt changes like a fire starting in the kitchen. Climate change is happening too slowly to detect. Immoral. We pay attention when we see something indecent or disgusting. Climate change does not excite these feelings. Now, we respond to immediate threats, like someone trying to rob our home. For many people, it's not clear how climate change is impacting them right now. The biggest problem with climate change may be that it's not happening fast enough. People generally see climate change as a distant threat, and people understand estimate the odds that seemingly distant threats like climate change will hurt any of us personally. Because climate change does not feel urgent, we focus on other problems as well. We can only worry about so many things all at once. And we are more concerned with our present pain than with our future agony. We defend the status quo. Climate change presents unpredictable catastrophic risks. It challenges our core belief that the world is a just, orderly and stable place. And so we respond with scepticism to climate science. When faced with our own mortality, we become more firm in our views even if that means denying climate change. And when faced with our own contribution to climate change, for instance, driving, flying, eating meat, etc., we feel guilty and we disengage. Many of us, conservatives in particular, will go to great lengths to defend the status quo. In some cases, denying the reality of climate change altogether. This is what Voltaire said. One day everything will be well. That is our hope. Everything's fine today. That is our illusion. What about extreme weather? Well, extreme weather may cause people to worry more about climate change but the effect is small and short-lived. Floods, hurricanes, tornadoes and droughts won't shift attitudes over the long term. Except possibly where people are personally harmed. The challenge is that we are growing accustomed to climate change, so we find unusual weather patterns to be less and less remarkable over time. Meet the naysayers. The naysayers are climate deniers. They tend to be white, male, religious and conservative and they are given to conspiratorial thinking. They dismiss evidence of climate change and not because they are uneducated. Paradoxically, those with a greater understanding of what scientists say about climate change are actually more likely to deny climate science. How could this be? Denial is more to do with present culture than with a deficit of information. What conservatives object to is not the science, but the solutions. 
If they acknowledge the need to place limits on industry, then they must also acknowledge the failure of the free market to ensure a just and orderly world. Accepting this fact may invite the scorn of their peers. Thus, reluctance to support more regulation and more government spending, they dismiss the facts of climate change. Notably, Conservatives are divided by age. Millennials are far more likely than older people to understand that humans are causing climate change. They are also more likely to support clean energy. This may be because for young people, climate change feels more like a more immediate threat. One day, they will have to contend with this in their own lifetimes. Thank you for listening and God bless you all.